lads, I, I, I just, I gotta be straight up. I gotta be straight up and I just gotta say it. I haven't been honest with you guys. I modified Forza Horizon 5 in the best goddamn way possible. Oh yeah. Welcome to Horizon Plus. There's so much to this, I don't even know where to begin. Yes, I modified Forza Horizon 5 in the best way possible by adding on this incredible HUD overlay that actually works. It is so goddamn sick. Some of you guys might remember this guy named Sappy. Sappy went into Forza Horizon 5 and he was like, that's cool, but why don't we make it better? So Sappy built this HUD overlay that works with SimHub on the PC. SimHub basically allows you to like modify your games and put like overlays on them that can like add to your experience. These are all of the games that you can add overlays to. It's kind of insane. It adds so many cool things. So like on the left hand side of the screen, you can see like the fastest speed you hit. So if I stop accelerating, 83.6 miles an hour. That's awesome. We've got a G meter and like spring compression rates. On the right hand side, we've got like tire temperature. So if I like do a donut, you'll see my tires start to heat up a little bit, which is so cool. You can even see which way I'm steering. The yellow line on the left is left. Now it's right. You can see my handbrake, my gas, and my brake, and even a boost gauge. Not only can you do all of this stuff, but it is fully customizable. We will come back to that in a second. I think we've got some things we need to do. I want to try to max out the boost gauge, and I think I know the perfect vehicle to do it. I'm pretty sure I've got to use the Mercedes Unimog, no? I want this engine, 2400 horsepower diesel swap. All right, so I have a fully upgraded Unimog, 12,000 pounds, 2,400 horsepower. I mean, it's fully upgraded. I didn't say it would be fast. <laughs> Let's load up the overlay now that we're done building our car. Minimize that. And now I can see if I can max the boost gauge. 60 PSI of boost. Jeez, look at my boost gauge. 60 boosty boys. <laughs> now that I'm in this thing, I can tell you a little bit more about how like SimHub works. I know a lot of you guys are asking like, is this thing free? Yes, yeah. Sappy actually made this whole thing called Horizon Plus. I'll include a link in the description down below so you guys can download it for yourself. Totally free. SimHub itself, that is also free, but there is also a paid version you can get as well. Both the free version and the paid version of SimHub are exactly the same, except the paid one will update like the HUD in 60 FPS instead of being maxed out at like 15 or... If you're gonna get some use out of it, you should definitely purchase it. This tool is unreal what you can do. So like you could see those yellow lines going from the left to the right. So say for example, I don't want that bar to be yellow. I can just come down here, change the color, Twitch chat, what color should I make it? That's a stupid question. I know what chat's gonna choose. File, save, blah, 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 close this. It's pink. How sick is that? That's awesome. All right, hold on. I'm gonna make my entire dash pink. So my brake will be hot pink. My throttle will be a ready pink. Beautiful. And my handbrake. Handbrake should be like a dark, dark pink. Let's do the same with the boost gauge. So when he builds boost, he will become hot pink. All right, back to the game. Is everything pink? Yes! My entire dash is pink. This is a better way to play Forza Horizon 5. But chat says make the numbers pink. I can make the numbers pink. Yes. There is another thing that you can do in this. Nice. <laughs> Ultimate boost pressure. Turbo boosts are good, but I think we can do better. So let's get rid of the turbo icon and let's put a different picture in instead. I think this is better. I really shouldn't be allowed these things. I'm just saying. All right, so save and exit and load. There is no way it's gonna work, right? Never mind, it works. I really shouldn't be allowed these things. I can't believe that worked. This is exactly what everybody expected to see today. Enough screwing around. Let me show you some of the other really cool things that you can do with this. Someone says put a picture of your Mustang and call it a crowdometer. We'll come back to that idea. One of the things that people have been asking for for a very, very long time is glitchy textures on the road. Please ignore. I downloaded all of my up-to-date drivers. I... 
moving on. Anyways, on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see some of the really cool things that SimHub also does. You've got last lap and your delta time. So when we finish our first lap and uh, cross the line. So I did that lap in a 109.4. This lap is already 1.7. Okay, 1.6, 1.2, 1. Um, I bottled. It shows you if you're faster or slower, though. In other news, I think my PC is about to melt. It's little things like that that the community would absolutely love. On the topic of things that people would absolutely love and been asking for for a very long time, whatever happened to split times game? In Forza Horizon 4, we had the ability to see split times so we could see like how far the person was behind you in second. And for whatever reason, the developers removed it in Forza Horizon 5 and it is utterly disappointing. I don't actually know if that's something that like SimHub could fix. Anyways, the Nick Gage down in the bottom right is looking very, very good. And across the line. Beautiful. Let's go back to SimHub and see what else we can mess with. Since my handbrake is just a butt, I could make it, if I press the A button, an image will pop up. Somebody send me a photo on Discord and I will make it my new handbrake butt. Mustang, oh burr. It's a very small Mustang. <laughs> when we press the handbrake, that should now appear. Let's see. Okay. Wait, no, I messed it up. No, no, okay. No, I know what I did wrong. Oh, what's happening? I really, I don't know how this works, okay? <laughs> I got the best looking handbrake in the business. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Look at me go. This is already an improvement on the Forza Horizon 5 dash. But how can we make it better? A spoon for the G meter? My new goal is to change this little dot into a spoon. So Lexometer dot. Yes. A spoon. Fill color? None. It's literally just a spoon. I don't think this will work. It works. But it's not centered, but it works. Sappy, thank you. Thank you for your contribution to Forza Horizon 5. It will never be the same. I mean, I could always mess with my throttle. So when I press my gas, an image pops up instead of a line. All right, chat, I need another image for my throttle. Oh yeah, I think this will work. <laughs> It's such a good picture! <laughs> I need one for when I press the brakes. This is the best thing we've ever done. Yep, that way I'll be able to see my image when I press the brakes. Yep. Oh, um, flip it upside down. Beautiful. I think this worked. No! No! <laughs> What happened? I mean, I guess technically that works. I really don't know either. I'm sorry. That is how we get maximum pressure on the brakes, though. I guess the last thing I'll say about SimHub is answering a simple question. Can you get banned for doing this? No. So much so, the developers actually encourage this kind of stuff. It was actually in Forza Horizon 4 where they added in the ability to have data out. So here, take a look at this. In your settings, you actually have to go to here, data out, you put in this IP address and this port, not a real IP address, that basically just goes to your own computer. Once you put in that information, it will talk to SimHub and that's how all of this stuff works. Although I've been screwing around with it, it's actually such a powerful tool and I genuinely cannot wait to see what people do with this in the future. Like the first version of like this mod was released in three days. Imagine what's gonna happen in the future and how much better all of this stuff is gonna get. We're gonna be getting some awesome, awesome overlays. I can't wait to see what Sappy and other people do in the future. If there are some more cool updates, I'll be sure to update you guys in a future video, but like, this stuff's awesome. Like it's, oh shit, 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 shit. It's just so much fun. It's so fun.